Hi everybody, this is Pete Talbot of the Cardboard Tech Institute. I'm here to show you the assembly of the raised chute multi-ball mechanism. All right, so what you're gonna need is a printer to print out the, this page, the template page. You're gonna need some scissors or maybe an X-Acto blade. You're gonna need some tape. I like cool colors, um, but you know, beige is great as well. Um, you don't have to use a blank playboard. Uh, you can incorporate the mechanism into a playboard that you've already got going. You're gonna need some cereal box or other similar um, material to trace the pattern onto. All right, so once you have all of that, I'm gonna show what you're able to do. Come on. So when you're taking your template, you wanna make sure that you trace underneath these parts, okay? Trace down here, trace up there, and all around, okay? Before I attach this onto the, the playboard, I'm just going to fold this up. And I'm going to get some tape ready. Now, I want to fold up this middle piece first, okay? Just like that. And then these other ones are going to fold behind it, like that, okay? And then I'm going to wrap the tape from the inside around, okay? So. There, I want to hold that down and wrap it around, just like that. The tape might be a little bit bigger than the the width of the channel, and that's okay. Just cram it in there. All right, that's all you need there. Um, also, you want to lift up this little this little guy right there. That's a little like hoppy, jumpy thing. The ball, when it's coming down here, is going to hit that and sort of become a little weightless as it gets to the bucket. That first marble, it's crucial so that it doesn't just go goink and then um, activate the mechanism. All right, now what I'm gonna do is get the bucket prepped, okay? Um, I'm gonna do the same thing where I fold that up and then I'm going to fill up this middle one first and then I'm going to wrap the two sides around the back like that and I'm gonna get some orange tape. This totally doesn't matter what color. I'm gonna rip the tape just to Finify it. Um, that way it'll keep this a little more tidy on the inside. Okay, so I'm gonna push that there. And then on the outside, I'm going to push that down and wrap the tape around. Okay? There you go. You can use glue also. No big deal. Okay, so now this is going to go in here. Now make sure, this is very important, that you put this tab right here underneath, like this. See that? See how it's, how it's underneath this part? So that way, let's see if I can get a good angle. That way it can drop down and then this will kind of like prevent it from coming up too far. Okay. Now, before we tape this into there, let's get some tape ready. Okay. We're going to need a spacer. So here is our spacer. 
we're gonna put this spacer back there. Okay. We're not gonna attach the spacer. We're just putting it there so that the bucket is held from the wall enough so that the bucket can move. Um, if it was too close to the wall, the back bottom corner would hit the wall as it tries to dump and it, it would affect the mechanism's um, working ability. So we've got the spacer in there. Okay, I'm going to rip this tape, make it a bit thinner, okay? That way, when I pinch this and hold that bucket and the spacer right where I got it, that way the thin tape is going to just be the width of this like tongue right here, okay? Uh, I'm gonna push that up close to the tongue, make sure it's on there. And now I can remove the spacer. Thank you, spacer. Um, and I'm gonna test it out. Works great. It doesn't feel like there's any um, resistance. Okay. Um, it doesn't have to come like all the way back up. You see how it's sort of just like coming down a little bit. That's fine. Okay, boom. I'm gonna set that right there. Now I'm gonna get the, these little legs. All right, so we have these little pieces right here. Um, this is going to raise the chute uh, to a second level, okay? And I'm gonna use green. And I'm gonna tape this onto the back. And be careful not to attach this to the mechanism because once it's working, I just want to keep it working that way. Okay. And then I'm going to wrap this around here. Basically just attaching some legs onto this. Okay. Just make sure not to put tape over into the bucket area. You wanna keep that uh, free from, from tape and obstructions. All right, this is good. You've got your risers attached. Okay, um, now you want to build your ramp. All right. Um, you're going to want to Fold these little tabs up like that. Okay. And then you're going to want to kind of like crease this. All right. And then I would recommend starting, you can kind of like, you can kind of do a little size test like, yep, that's gonna fit. Okay, good. So I would start on this top portion here. And I need some tape. If anyone has ever gotten a present from me, they will know that I'm not the best wrapper. I don't know how to make things super nice and tidy. So, I've also learned that it's okay if it looks a little crazy. Okay, I'm gonna attach these tabs under here. I'll put it, the, the tape onto the tab, okay? Tape is on the tab first. And then I'm going to hold that structure in place and then push the tape down. Tape on tab. I'll do a tape on tab right here too. We'll tape on tab. Okay, oops, 
don't do too much because you might get yourself in trouble. Push it down. Tape it on. Okay, push it down. Tape it on. Okay. You got yourself a ramp. Um, bend these so that that will work with the curve of the ramp. Um, this is designed so that if you want the ramp on this side and you want the mechanism over here, just assemble the ramp so that this part is on, is coming up here. And then you can just bend these parts over. Okay, does that make sense? Cool. All right, um, so you've got this. I'm going to attach this onto my playboard now and then I'll attach the ramp onto there once it's in a secure position. Playboard, to me! Um, I'm going to take some tape and I'm gonna put some tape on this portion of the tab here. And then I'm going to bring this over and it on there like that. Okay, so this is all ready to be pushed down onto the cardboard. I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna bring this over just like that. Okay, these are ready to be pushed down onto the cardboard. Here we go. I'm gonna put this up against the wall over here. Just like that. You can, you could bring it down over here or up over there. You can't do it like this um, because this mechanism needs gravity. It needs the seven degree slant uh, to hold the marbles back against this bucket mechanism. If it's like this, it'll probably just hit and then roll back or just activate the mechanism, okay? So I'm gonna put this up here. I'm gonna use this chunk this uh, portion to guide where I place this. Push that. And push this down here. Push that down there. Okay. All right, looks good. Now I'm gonna take the ramp. I'm gonna get some more tape. Tear a couple pieces. Think, think. Put you right there. All right. Okay. So now I'm going to sort of place this up in there. Let's see. Maybe I'm gonna determine. Yeah. Okay. So you can bend this a little and shape it if it feels like it needs that. And then what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put this here and this here, and I'm gonna do a little testing, okay? Because I need to make sure that I can actually hit this ramp consistently. All right, let's test it out. Launch. Okay, let's see. Oh, I missed it. Hey, all right. Number two. Okay, that's good. Seems pretty easy to hit. That's good. Ooh, that's cool. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can get the third one. Yeah, multi-ball, yeah! Oh, yeah! That's great, it totally works. Okay, I'm gonna keep that there. So now I can reinforce this with more tape or glue, now that I know where I want it and that everything works. Okay. Wrap that around. 
I like this little portion because if the marble comes up here, then it will kind of grip it and bring it along in. Although, if you want, you could uh, cut this off and then that way you have to have a really solid shot for it to go over and in there. Whatever. Um, this is kind of cool. If it doesn't go up all the way, it drops down into this area and you could have like a little trap. You could have another little like zone or obstacle in here that you could only get to. Maybe it's blocked off, right? And you can only get to it if you shot it up the marble up there and had it drop down in. Some super skill. Okay. Great. I've got that right there. I'm going to grab this piece and this folds around and kind of creates a little fun, funky gazebo thing. You don't have to have this portion of it. Um, this portion back here does serve a function. Um, it goes behind the ramp and then it'll prevent marbles from getting stuck back in there. Okay, I'll show you what I mean. So you wanna fold it. So if you're looking at it like an L, you want to fold this down, that around, and fold that, and that like that. Okay? How did I know? This is the angled portion, okay? Now, you don't wanna tape it up just yet because you want to put this in here underneath this ramp and then have it come around like that. Okay, does that make sense? All right, so now I'm gonna put a piece of tape over here There's a little bit of a hole right here. That's okay. Marble's not gonna be able to get in there. Um, you can cover it if you'd like to, to make it aesthetically pleasing, but that's okay. Put a piece of tape right here. There we go. Okay. Now you could, you could put like, a figure or some type of decoration on top of there. Something like, oink, you know. Be like, okay, that's my, my, the pink target. And this one over here is my yellow target. And that one's my green target, you know. And so that kind of lets you know um, what to shoot for. These, these guys are just more decoration. They don't really serve any um, super important purpose. They're just kind of cool to have on your ramps. What do they do? Well, they get in the way of seeing what is happening. And that can be kind of cool, you know? Fold these up like that. And then you can put them down over here. I'm gonna use orange. Now, I'm just using colored tape because it looks cool during this assembly video, um, but you can paint this, you know, just be delicate of the, the mechanism area to bring your game to the next level, okay? Okay, so there you go. There you have it. All right. Okay, here we go. Ball one locked. Let's go for ball two. Yeah, all right, here we go. Ball number three. Let's do this. One, two, three. Yeah, multi-ball, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. After you've assembled this mechanism, show us how did you put this into your Pinbox 3000? Tag us, we're on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and all that. Um, we'd love to see how you incorporated this into your game. All right. This has been Pete Talbot of the Cardboard Tech Institute saying, tilt the future with the Pinbox 3000. See ya.